Rangers GM Chris Young joining us now, brought to you by PlayScore and by Anheuser-Busch. And a good afternoon, sir. How the heck are you? Hey, guys. I'm well. How are you all? We are doing great. Congrats. You told us last week you're you're just looking to win series, and you did it. Does it does it still feel like success when you drop the last one? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a long season, and if you win two out of every three, it, um, you know, it'll make for a great year. That said, um, we're competitors. We want to win every night, um, but realistically, that's not going to happen. So uh, in the end, if you win two out of three, you feel pretty good about it. You know as well as anybody the hype and excitement uh, for Wyatt Langford's debut in the major leagues. How how'd you think the rookie did? What stood out to you over the weekend? Well, just Wyatt um, was super impressive. He he looked great. He looked like he belonged. He was, um, you know, quality at bats on the at the plate. Um, he handled the environment, um, the emotions, the adrenaline. He didn't let things speed up on him, and then he made some nice plays in left field as well. So I think. All things considered, it was everything we were hoping it would be, and uh, we still believe the best is yet to come. It seems like Janko is just, he's, he's clutch, or he's been on fire in these situations lately. What do you think it is about this guy that comes up big in these moments? <laughs> well, Travis is a veteran player who doesn't let the game speed up on him, and uh, you feel very comfortable putting him in those situations, knowing that he's going to go up and he's not going to um, let the pressure of the situation uh, determine um what he does, he's going to go up and, and have a quality at bat and really handle the environment. And um, it's really a hard thing to do for any player, but um, for veteran players who've been around a little bit like Travis, uh, they have an ability to really kind of shrink the strike zone and understand um, that they don't need to do too much in those situations and just put a good swing on the ball and not expand. And Travis did that and uh, got the barrel to it and drove it out. It was really, really awesome. What a great night for our fans and certainly welcoming Travis back Um you know, he came up big for us in the World Series, and then to see him on opening night come out and do that was really cool. It was, man, and thanks for bringing him back because he he's one of our favorite guys. He's super nice and, and cool, and I don't know if you've had much of a chance to talk with him, but the dude's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> he is funny, and he's a great teammate. And he's a great person, and he um, really is one of the favorites in the clubhouse. And that veteran leadership, I mean, you know, he may not have a starting role night in, night out here, but he is a, a he has a starting role in the clubhouse in terms of um, his leadership and just the stability he provides and um, the mentorship that he uh, gives to our young players, Wyatt included, and Evan Carter, and it's just so important, and uh, we don't take that for granted. We're very thankful Travis chose to come back here. Do you go first name basis with these guys, or do you like to invoke the nicknames on them? Because we call him El Blondie. You know, we like Janko, but El Blondie is also one that is stuck. Oh, it depends on the situation, uh, but normally I try to keep things light and go with the nickname, but I, I've not used El Blondie. I didn't know that was it. <laughs> Do you have a nickname for uh, for Wyatt Langford that you use? Because we've been going with Bang Bang. Oh, that's a pretty good one. Um, no, I don't know what the guys are calling him yet, so I'll have to I'll have to ask around and find out. It's just been Wyatt thus far, okay. so he's pretty formal with me. He's, um, he's um, been very uh, shy and um, <laughs> respectful and calls me sir from time to time, which I don't like. <laughs> Yeah, as a guy a little bit older than you, Chris, I run into that with young radio guys, and I'm like, wait, when did this happen where people started looking at me like this? I don't know what to make of it. He's a fogey. <laughs> well, I, uh, yeah, exactly. I know. I, I certainly appreciate it. I want my kids to be that respectful, but uh, yeah. Wyatt is a, a grown man now, and uh, I certainly, um, just, you can call me CY. <laughs> Hey, okay, CY, uh, I'd like to chip in for the steak dinner for the pro scout that did the Jarrett Walsh work. Is there any. Uh, any way I can Venmo you that money or stuff like that? That was uh, some fine work by your, your pro scouting department there. Well, it was a collective effort. And um, as we had conversations into the winter with Jared, one, we've seen how talented he is. I mean, a couple years ago, this guy hit, I think, 29 homers in the big leagues. And uh, you know that that pop is in there. And you know, all guys go through some things. And it sounded like Jared had figured some things out. Um, was committed to the changes that he needed to make physically in a better spot. And, you know, when you've seen the previous history of the talents, you hope that with those, you know some slight tweaks or changes that it'll come back out. And uh, that's I hope that's what we're seeing. But um, there were some conversations this winter with Jared and his agent that really led us to believe that, um, you know, he's committed and believes in himself. And uh, when a player of that talent um, puts in the work and believes in himself, you, you'd like to believe good things are going to happen. Uh, speaking of Jared Walsh, how's uh, old Nathaniel Lowe doing right now? 
Nate's doing well. He's coming along. He's uh, resumed some light baseball activity. We're still, I think, a couple weeks away from, you know, really testing it. But um, we want to get this right. We don't want to push him too hard too soon. We want to make sure that he's fully recovered. Uh, he's going to play a critical role for us and be a big part of our success. He has been the last few years, and uh, we need him back healthy. So uh, not pushing him, but he is making progress. How amazing was uh, ring night? I mean, what, what was that experience like for you, not only getting your World Series ring, but then getting to be there while everybody else files in to get theirs? Well, receiving the ring was unbelievably special, but the more special aspect for me was just seeing the smiles on everybody else's faces, seeing our guys celebrate and the bewilderment and the joy and the happiness um, on all of their faces um, for that, you know, heirloom ring. It's just an amazing ring. It's beautiful. It was so well designed and I don't think it could have been any better. And I think the entire experience um, from raising the banner on Thursday to the ring presentation on Saturday, um, it was just a, a wonderful weekend. And uh, everybody was really, really happy to celebrate 2023. I mean, that, th- that yeah. thing is clean, though. I, that's yeah. that's the dinner I would chip in on, Brian, yeah. is whoever, whoever uh, uh, drew that thing up. It was uh, the, our senior vice president of marketing, Travis Dillon, took the lead and his team. And there were a number of people uh, with the Rangers involved. And then certainly Jason of Beverly, Jason of Beverly Hills, um, the, the ring designer, just did a tremendous job and wanted to make it a very unique and special ring. It was his first World Series ring. And I think he nailed it. Um, I saw the final version um, in a video uh, the day before um, it was uh, revealed to the team. And. I just couldn't believe how awesome it was, and uh, it was blown away, and I think it lives up to the expectation. Well, Chris, I'll tell you what put a smile on my face is the uh, Yankees sweeping the Astros in four straight. That put a big smile on my face. So I'll, 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 I'll step up with you. I know that uh, occasionally we always talk about the, you know, what's going on, and you'll tell me it's a long season, but I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a sweep by the Yankees any day over that bunch. <laughs> well, the Yankees certainly, they got off to a hot start. They're a really good team, and um, – and, you know, the Astros aren't going away, though. I, no, uh, I know. They're also a very good team. And so we're, um, you know, but I think any time we can try to put a little distance between us, it, it helps. And um, games in April count as much as they do in September. There you go. Rangers GM Chris Young here with you on 105.3 The Fan. Um, now, are you a ball cap guy? Did you get yourself one of those those gold teeth? I don't think I've ever seen you in a baseball hat other than when you were playing. I am a hat guy, actually, but I, I don't. Um, I don't wear our our uh, game hats. I'm uh, more of a trucker hat guy these days. But nice. um, but uh, only when I work out. When I'm at the office, I'm I'm now the uh, you know I'm in the the khakis and executive attire, so I don't get to wear hats as often. But uh, I am a hat guy, and those gold hats are special. They look really cool. I got them for my kids, and uh, what a great look! I mean, it's just that gold tee pops. Now, J.D., he would work in like like a business casual type of yoga pant look every now and then, kind of like that athleisure type <laughs> look. Do you ever go with that? Do you ever find yoga pants in my size? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> we might have to custom make those. Okay. Uh, and then I, I was wondering, did you have to rip anybody for not having a clean launch on that on that championship banner? Oh, no. Yeah, the, the, you know what? The banner was up there, and it looked clean. And, you know, I, first of all, I admire whoever went up there to, to drop that thing. Yeah. That's a long way up, and you're hanging over the rail to let that thing go. I, I don't think I would have been able to get it done the first time. So uh, whoever was up there, I think it took a lot of courage. And I, I think it looked great, even with a slight wrinkle in it. And uh, I'm not complaining about it. Chris Young with us here in the nation. I was I was proposing the idea, you know, especially with so many more championships in our future, maybe maybe creating a championship button inside of Globe Life Field that you just smash and boom, it just drops it right down there digitally for you. You know, so just just spitballing a little bit. Just the button. I like that. I like the idea. Yeah. Well, hopefully uh, we can pass that on to the the marketing team. CY here with you on 105.3 The Fan. Okay. Is uh, how how you looking at the bullpen? It wasn't a great opening weekend for Leclerc. I, I'm not sure exactly how to a- ask this question perfectly, but is there any concern with you for from our hero from last postseason? <laughs> you know, yeah, I don't think you can judge it off one bad outing. I mean, he did pitch well opening night. Um, got, got in a little trouble, but he got out of it, and then you know ran into a little trouble again. And um, really, just the walks. If he gets the ball in the zone, his stuff is good enough. It'll play and. You know, it's early in the season, and this is part of it. Um, Hosey's a champion. Um, He's done it in the biggest moments, and he'll figure it out. Um, Guys go through ups and downs. And, you know, ultimately, I think our bullpen did a great job of giving us a chance to win that game. Sure did. What Jose Arana did, and then Yerry Rodriguez, and 
uh, they really kept us in the game, gave us a chance, and um, we just came up a little short. And Jose is going to be a huge part of our team this year, and I know that he'll you know he'll have a lot more good games than he will bad. We were talking earlier about the, I think, nine Ks that Jack Leiter posted in, in five innings of work. What could a timeline work f- look like for him if, if he keeps going well? Well, it's hard to commit to a specific timeline. Some of it will be, most of it will be driven by our big league needs and him just being the right, the right guy at the right time. But um, it was really exciting to see the start after a great spring training. Um, what a, a terrific way to start his Triple A season this year, and um, you know, if he strings together um, a, a group of starts like that, um, he certainly has our attention. And then we'll see what's going on at the big league level, what the needs are, what's right for Jack's development, and what's the best option to help us win major league games. I did like in that answer when you uh, said Leclerc Jose's a champion. I mean, that, that just sounds good. It just sounds right there. See why? Right. I know Brian brought up uh, the Astros and the sweep to the Yankees, but. All eyes will I hate be on the, Astros. the weekend series. I know, hey, got to take care of business against Tampa Bay, but with everybody saying this is the best rivalry in baseball, now I imagine it's great for the sport, but it's also special because you don't have a rivalry unless now both teams are competitive to help the rivalry. Yeah, you know, and I think in the early 2010s, the, the Rangers were really good and the Astros were down, and then the kind of script got flipped there for a while, and now it seems to be a time where both teams are, are good at the same time. And I think that is good for baseball. I think it's great for baseball in Texas specifically, um, and it's just I think it's, it's a lot of fun. And, um, you know, this weekend series, we, we are not looking past Tampa. We're playing a really good Tampa team, and then we'll come home, have an off day, and gear up for Houston, and uh, we'll have our work cut out for us. Sounds awesome, CY. Thank you so much. And that championship ring is so great. I think when you guys win the next one, just change the year on it. You'll be good to go. <laughs> I agree. That would be a great problem to have. And I look forward to, uh, to making that recommendation as well. You guys have had some good ones today, so thank you. Thanks, Friday. Have a great night. Awesome, guys. Kick their we'll butts. Talk to you soon. Thank Salute. you. Salute.